hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel and you like my tutorials then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, I'll create a new composition and I'll call it as main animation with this 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 and duration we are not going to choose much more duration so I'll choose 10 second long and background color is black color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and make sure to hit on title selection to get this kind of grid. Now we will select our text tool and we will go to the character options like this okay and for the font i am going to choose oswell font uh, medium version and color i am going to choose white color then go to the paragraph and make sure that you are choosing the center text by default if sometimes if left align text then we should should choose center text and now type your text first thing i'll type is motion like this then i'll select this text i'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll go to the character menu and let's increase the size of this a little bit then press ctrl alt home again go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this okay now we will go to the text menu and we will choose this animate and first we will animate is this position so i'm going to click on it then move this downwards like this then go to the add menu choose property and we are going to choose position sorry uh go to the range selector first and let's create one keyframe over here go to around let's say 20 seconds and let's make this proper 100 okay and if you want then you can move this a little bit downwards so we'll get something like this then go to the add menu go to the property and then we will choose this tracking and we will make this negative value like this like minus 61 or 60 and if you hit play we'll get this kind of animation then go to the add menu choose property and we are going to choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero then again go to the add menu choose property and choose this blurriness and choose this 40 so we will get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play i'll get this kind of animation Let's move these keyframes a little bit forward so animation will take some little bit of time to procedure like this. Okay, and at this point, I mean somewhere around over here, I want another animator. So I'll go to the text, I'll go to the animate, and I'm going to add one tracking again. So it will create animator two, then create one keyframe at tracking amount and go to around two seconds and let's increase the tracking amount like this. Select those keyframes, hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here make sure that you are in edit speed graph so simply right click and choose edit speed graph then only you will get graph like this so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this kind of animation okay now after this point i want some 3d rotations for this so let's select this layer press f4 and let's enable our 3d layer and press r for rotation first of all press u so we can see where we are our key last keyframes like this now before the last keyframes i'll go few frame forwards and then i'll press r on for rotation and let's rotate it on one keyframe on let's say x-axis and go to around 3.10 frames and let's make this two rotations and we will get this kind of rotations then create one keyframe and set go to the last keyframe create another keyframe and in middle of it what we need to do we need to increase this value like this so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now select the z rotation and hit f9 select this x rotation and hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play now i'll get this kind of animation okay now select this motion and hit ctrl d to duplicate it after and duplicating i'll hide the second layer i'll select this first layer hit u and we are going to delete all the keyframes for this first layer but make sure that you are 
uh, your time indicator is after the last keyframe so now let's select all the keyframes and let's say delete and select this text and type our second text called design like this okay and let's enable this motion layer again select this layer and hit u and now we will select this design layer and we will make it apparent with this motion and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this line over here and let's select this text and enable the motion blur so along with this animation we'll get a little bit of motion blur now at this point around over here i want this text should disappear and that this design text should appear so i'll move this design text over here i'll select this and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and i'll hit delete it so we will get this a uh, quick transition between this text so if i see this animation from the start i'll get something like this okay select this hit leo and go over here like this and hit you again now we will select our paint tool i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill the only thing i want over here is stroke and choose red color and from here to here by holding shift i'm going to create one stroke and increase the stroke width to around 35 like this then go to the contents shape one stroke one and choose round cap okay like this then go to the add menu and choose zigzag and go to the zigzag and let's increase the or let's say make this segment six and also increase the size of it and instead corners i'm going to choose move and let's choose this five or let's say four like this okay then let's minimize all of them then go to the contents go to the add menu and we'll choose trim path and if i select this and if i make this end property zero we will get something like this so let's select this shape layer and let's move this over here initially let's make this end value zero create one keyframe at the end and one keyframe at the start go somewhere around over here let's make this 100 and this one also 100 like this select those start keyframes and let's move this over here okay hit u so where we can see our last keyframes are over here so let's select those keyframes and like this and move this over here select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graphs hold shift move this handle totally up to here and this handle totally up to here so we'll get something like this and select this by holding shift I mean by holding alt i'm gonna reduce the what we call duration and let's move the start keyframes over here so animation will go a little bit longer like this okay so if i see this animation now like this let's move this over here move this over here okay now select this layer hit ctrl d and let's one bring one over here go to the sorry uh, go to the stroke color choose white color hit ok and stroke width let's choose 10 like this okay so if i see this animation now first i'll get this then this okay now initially the as you can see this is appearing a uh, quite uh, looks weird so let's select this stroke layer in search bar i am going to type stroke width and let's create one keyframe over here go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this stroke width zero like this okay so we will get this proper appearance of the stroke width you can adjust the keyframes like this okay so let's see this animation now first this then this now after that i'm going to select this design text i'll hit u uh, not you but uh, at this point i want it should uh, regain the original value of its tracking so i'll go to the text menu i'll go to the animate and i'll choose tracking let's create one keyframe over here or instead of that uh, let's delete this animator 3 we have already one animator 2 over here which is for tracking so let's create one keyframe at tracking amount go few frame forward and let's make this zero select those keyframes hit f9 initially and let's see we'll have this then this okay now select this and hit u okay now select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit u 
now i'm going to disable this 3d uh, icon and i'll move this layer over here uh, select your text tool and type the mission hit ctrl a choose black color and go to the stroke and choose white color like this and stroke it let's say two like this okay so if i say this thing we will get this kind of stuff also now i'm going to select one rectangle tool i'll go over here i don't want any stroke so let's delete the stroke the only thing i want over here is fill and simply hit ok and let's create one mask uh, layer for this and i'll move this over here press ctrl alt home select this layer hit ctrl d press v and let's bring this downwards so here like this and let's adjust it like this and let's uh, select one of them which is this one and we will bring this downwards for this motion i'm gonna select this text which is this stroke and press f4 and choose alpha mask like this and then select this text press p for position create one keyframe hit u go over here and we will bring this layer over here like this okay select those keyframes and hit f9 like this hit u select both the shape layers and i mean text layer and shape layer alt open bracket and hit u so we will get this animation select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this shape layer and let's move this over here and bring this over here as a mask let's delete this shape layer select this and let's hide this now select this text hit u and we will bring the position of this one totally up to here like this okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now select both the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and if you think the duration is quite long so simply increase the duration so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of animations okay now uh, we need to select this design we will hit u and we need to adjust the tracking animation for this one also or instead of that let's select all of those keyframes again and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move the one handle over here and one handle over here so now our animation will look something like this so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this then this okay so this is how you can create this kind of title animations and if you want you can select the shape layers you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply blur effect on it which is our portion blur and let's increase the blurriness value a little bit so select this layer uh, effect hit ctrl c select this shape layer and hit ctrl v so we will get if you zoom in we will get something like this okay and hit u and let's go over here then we will get this kind of animation so yep this is how you can create this kind of title animations for your animations so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then, stay tuned.